Brittany, you can put a comment on um, Instagram, remember? Yes. You should have had it copied and pasted on your finger. And then you could just put it on there. Because yeah. um, then you got to move them. Great morning. And yesterday you were rough with the Instagram warriors. Buenos dias, como estas? How y'all doing? Como te sientes? Oi. How are you feeling today? Good morning. If today's your birthday, happy birthday. Hola, Nancy, como estas? Did you hear my Spanish, Nancy? Como te sientes hoy? Yeah, getting good. <laughs> like give my own self props. Hola, Tanisha, how are you? Y'all, I am looking for someone today, and I want y'all to help me find this person. Brittany, you didn't look in there, did you? I didn't have Okay. I didn't put my necklace on. Good morning, Keisha Johnson. Good morning, Fran Thomas. Instagram Warriors, what's up? Share the video, please, por favor. Good morning, BJP3306. Good morning, Dawn E. Grace Jones, Esquire. What's up? I think I'm getting it right. I was about to say, the socks are back in. I thought somebody else had posted. I just realized Brittany posted it. Um, are y'all good? Would you like me to... Instagram Warriors, why, we're, why everybody's coming in this morning, Brittany's going to pin. Just pin kellylane.org because that's, that's where they can get their to. ticket from. Yeah. yeah. Because if you go to kellylane.org, you, you can find the You can find the socks. You can find everything. Brittany has... Are, you got it on your... Oh, yeah. So, Brittany's typing something really quick. Are y'all good this morning? Happy birthday to everyone who has a birthday today. What is it? Ah. What is it? Cumpleaños feliz. Cumpleaños feliz. Cumpleaños feliz. Is that right, my Spanish speakers? Did I get that right? Good morning, Maddie Otero. Thanks for joining. Uh, te amo, mi familia. Good morning. Hey, y'all. Good morning from Dallas. Good morning from Paris, Texas. Where y'all signing in from today? Hello from Peachtree City, Georgia. That must be Miss Mary Ann. You know how to see the name. Are y'all good? We're going to go into prayer into prayer in one moment. You didn't say anything with KellyLane.org. You're not going to tell them nothing else? Oh. <laughs> Hold on one minute. Good I'm morning, Judy. Hold on. Brittany's got to pick y'all up for a minute. Sorry, Instagram. Brittany, I like this stick on the back of your phone. Where'd you get it from? I'm from Warrior Apparel. <laughs> We're going to go into prayer in just one moment. We're going to um, start pinning something on Instagram, too. Come on, Brit. I don't know what to pressure, say now. Pressure. No. Pressure. 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 Tell Brittany. Come on, Brittany. Thank you, Lord. We're on commercial break. Happy Friday. Oh, they said I'm doing good with my Spanish. Gracias. You can do it, Brittany. You are amazing. Good morning from St. Charles, Louisiana. Hi, Chanel. Good morning. Chanel, I am so distressed. I watched Greenleaf last night. My little heart can't take it. I'm not going to tell what happened in case y'all hadn't watched it. Okay. So, like, in the future, we can already have it ready to go. Yes, so, I sorry will. about that, y'all. Brittany, then you put your finger over the voice. Y'all see how rude Brittany's acting today. I'm just kidding. Good morning, Miss Johnny. Miss Johnny, how you doing? Okay, let's go into prayer. Yay, you made it. Welcome. Okay, so Brittany has a pen now. That everything you need on, from Instagram, for the sake of simplicity, you can go to kellylane.org and you'll find everything there. Y'all, let's get ready to go in prayer. You know we have our socks today, so I had to get out my heel headband, which is beautiful, and it's on the site. My heel tee, and I have lots of heel socks in my hands, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Let's go into prayer. Y'all ready for prayer this morning? Let's tell the Lord how good he is. Okay, the topic today is lesson learned. You got it? Lesson learned. This lamp. Is like not my friend right now. Lesson learned, okay? And we're going to be in Genesis 44, 30 through 33. Let's go into prayer. Father, we thank you so much this morning for your grace and mercy and your love. Father, we thank you so much for bringing us through another week together, the Warrior Nation family, God. And we thank you for what you are doing with us and through us and among us. God, you're so awesome. We call you holy this morning, Lord. We join in with the angels this morning and say, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for allowing us to be born and raised up for a time such as this, to bring prayer back to the nations and the nations back to its knees. Father, we honor you today. You're a good and perfect Father, and we just bless your holy name, Lord. Y'all, let's just take a moment and tell him how good he is. Father, you are so good. Y'all, just reflect back over something that the Lord has done for you, and just thank him for that particular thing. Lord, I thank you for even the air in my lungs. I just thank you for allowing me to move in peace and to relocate our business, Lord. And I thank you for our new ministry home that is soon coming. I just thank you for moving supernaturally and expeditiously in this situation, Father. I thank you this morning. I thank you for all the help that you are sending to this page, Lord. I thank you for all the generous hearts that you have 
allowed to partner with us to do your kingdom work. Father, I thank you for the warrior nation. I thank you for their lives. I thank you for all that you've called them to do. Lord, I just thank you that this is our year, Lord. You're lifting us to our blessed places, God, that you're allowing us to walk in wealthy places. Lord, I thank you for the transformation that is taking place even before our eyes among the warrior nation. God, I thank you for the divine downloads that you're giving your sons and daughters even now. Father, I thank you for the million dollar ideas that you're releasing to the minds of your people. Father, I thank you that you're giving them all the provision that they need, all the help that they need, everything that they need, God, you are sending it and you're sending it now. And so we just thank you by faith this morning that everything we've been petitioning you for, Lord, that you are answering in a way that will bring the most glory and honor to your name. We ask you, God, this morning to bless our time together. I ask you, Father, to bless the warriors, Lord, with just the answers to their prayers. Father, I ask you to just allow us to be led by your Holy Spirit. We thank you for this message this morning, lessons learned. Lord, help us to learn and move forward and not live our lives looking in the rearview mirror, but to move forward in this season with no regrets. Holy Spirit, you are our teacher. Teach us this morning. Give us a fresh word from heaven. Our ears are itching for a fresh revelation. Our hearts long for more and more of you. Our hearts long to see more of how you reveal yourself through your amazing holy word, through scripture. Jesus, we love you. We worship and adore you. You are our master, our savior, and our true and risen king. And we thank you for the work of the cross. We thank you for the redemption. It's because of what you did for us that we have access into eternity and access to our heavenly father. We honor you. Lord, please bless our time together. It is in Jesus' name that we do pray. Amen. Great morning, Warrior Nation. I'm excited this morning. The word is going to be lesson learned, and we're going to be in Genesis 40, 30 through 33, okay? So, as you all know, because Brittany has it pinned, we have more socks, and this time we have black, okay? There's about half of the supply left. About half of it went last night after this pop-up last night, um, but we have half, about half of the supply left, so you need to grab these while they're still available. Uh, we have more pink, and we have a little bit of that left. Um, we have more Miracle Socks in, but we do have the crew. This is the knee-high that I'm holding up, but we have the crew because you all were asking for more Miracle Socks. Uh, the purple are already sold out. Um, y'all were quick on the draw. We are reordering these. And then we have more red in. So we have multiple colors. And then we also have, you know, the T-shirts to match. So that's walking our healing. That's believing our healing. That's, you know, all of us. I stand on this scripture every day. Like, you don't have to have some type of diagnosis to thank God for your healing. I thank God for healing my mind. My mindset is even changing. So, even I have received a healing in my mind. Like, I see things so differently now. And I'm going to talk about it uh, more today as we go into this lesson. But just a shift in the mind, I even consider that a healing because the Lord is healing my thought process. Um, the way I used to think, the, the impoverished way I used to think. And God is even shifting that, and I'm so thankful for it. So we're going to go into the Word today. I did not even get my weather forecast. Hold on. We got to do the weather. Somebody's ordering socks. Hallelujah. We're going to walk in our healing. Thank you for your overwhelming support of everything that we release. Uh, oh, yeah. Don't forget your miracle tumbler. Y'all want an I am healed tumbler? We're thinking about that, too. Don't forget your I, I believe in miracles tumblers, okay? They're on the site, too. Very popular. Very, very popular. Right now, Jasmine, Mississippi, it is 49 degrees um, with a high of 66. Sun goes up at 626 a.m. and goes down at 558 p.m. 0% chance of rain. That's a first uh, in a few weeks, right, Brittany? Mm -hmm. Humidity is 88%, and the winds are coming to the north-northeast at 5 miles per hour. It feels like 46. So that's our weather forecast for today. If today is your birthday, happy and blessed birthday. I love you all so much. I was going to tell you something that was so important. Yes, I cannot believe it, but in two days... I have to bring the word at my home church, New Vision Worship Center International. It's located at 4800 Watkins Drive here in Jackson. A lot of y'all have made plans to attend. Please get there early. I'm uh, very excited about it. I have a powerful word for that day. And I just believe that in that in that service, the Lord is going to release an anointing for wealth. I don't just say those things just to be saying those things. But the Lord has placed it in my heart. The words, there will be millionaires in the midst. And so I'm excited about it. Thank you for coming out. If you are coming, please come early, okay? Please come early. We want you to get a good seat. Okay, with that being said, thank you so much. And then we'll talk about a lot of the other things that are going on after we get past this weekend, okay? Let's go to Genesis. Did I get it, Brittany? Mm -hmm. I'm loving my I am healed. See, I haven't worn my black one in a while. I'm really feeling it today. All right, here we go. Genesis 44, 30, 33. So, y'all, you know it's longer than this, but I just I shortened it to kind of get the point across. And you all can go back and read above it um, to where we actually left off from. 
but this will pretty much tell the story. Matter of fact, we can take it through 34. So we already know that Joseph purposely uh, sent his brothers off with their, with their grain, um, with their money back. And then in Benjamin's bag, he placed his silver cup that he drinks from every day at his table. And then he sent his servant out behind them, knowing that he was going to find the cup. And, you know, I've heard this story before. I read this story before. We studied the same story last year. And it's like, Joseph, why did you do that? Like, were you being malicious? Of course not. Um, it was for the divine will of God to be done because these brothers of his who had now been living over 20 years with regret, I would hope regret, but also with guilt. Um, so they can have a chance to humbly submit themselves before Joseph, before the father, uh, repenting of their sins, confessing their sins, so they could really be lifted to their blessed places. And I feel like I learned in my own life that God is not trying to withhold the blessing from us. Matter of fact, he wants to bless us more than we desire to be blessed. But sometimes it's a matter of being humble and just submitting yourselves to the divine will of God and to repent of what we've done wrong and to move forward from it. And it's like the moment that they do this, y'all, and the moment they say, you know what, we were wrong. And we, you're Joseph, you're the man. Uh, you have equal power with Pharaoh. And if you read it, you'll see all that. It's like they are finally acknowledging, even though they don't know this is their brother, they are finally acknowledging that. This man is Lord over them, that this man has the power. You know, each time that they're referencing their father, Jacob, they're saying, you're serving Jacob. They're just in a really humble place. And in my own life, and I'm sure some of y'all can testify, if not most of you, if not all of you can testify, then in those painful moments, in those, those moments of humble submission, it's like the Lord gets the glory out of it. And it's like, there's a freedom that comes with that. It's like, I'm, I'm done fighting. Yesterday, I talked about the fact that sometimes you just have to say you win. Like, I'm through fighting with you. I know that God is fighting my battle. But I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not going to be bitter with you. I'm not going to be angry with, angry with you. And I feel like when you get to that place, it's only a matter of time before God will lift you. Because he says in his word that he will exalt the humble. So with that being said, what I like so much about this in Genesis 44, 30 through 33, is that Judah steps up. Because Joseph basically says, I don't want all of y'all. I want the one who had the silver cup in his bag. Because you remember, all of the brothers tore their clothes and went back to Egypt after they found the cup in Joseph's bag. In, not, in, I'm sorry, in Benjamin's sack. So they all go back. But now Joseph's like, no, I only want the one who had the cup. So now Judah steps up. And in 30, this is Judah speaking. He's talking to Joseph. And now, my Lord, I cannot go back to my father without the boy. Our father's life is bound up in the boy's life. If he sees that that boy is not with us, our father will die. We, your servants, here we go, humble submission. We, your servants, will indeed be responsible for sending that grieving white-haired man to his grave. 32, my Lord, I guaranteed to my father that I would take care of the boy. And I told him, if I don't bring him back to you, I will bear the blame forever. So please, my Lord, let me stay here as a slave. Look at this, y'all. This is Judah. Please, my Lord, I'll be the one. I'll be the sacrifice. Let me stay here as a slave instead of the boy and let the boy return with his brothers. For how can I return to my father if the boy is not with me? I couldn't bear to see the anguish this would cause my father. And so in this moment, excuse me for one moment, Brittany, make sure that is not pin up Chloe's hair. I don't want to pull her hair too tight. Okay. okay. I'm sorry, y'all. You know my mama first. Okay. Yeah, I don't want her hair pulled too tight. I got to take care of my baby. So one moment, I'm dead. But anyway, just leave it open so you don't have to make so much noise. Okay. Sorry about that, but I couldn't do it. But anyway, back to what I was saying. It's like in this moment, Judah speaks up, y'all. He's like, you know what? I can't let you keep Benjamin. I have to let Benjamin go back to my father. And so I made some notes about it. I said, it's a lesson learned because now you can see that they finally learned their lesson. What they did to Joseph over 20 years ago, it's like they finally realized that, you know what? Even though Benjamin is my father's darling, my father's life is bound up in the boy's life. And it's more important for my father to live and for this boy to be safe than for me to be the favorite or for me to be noticed or whatever it may be. And it's like finally they were able to count the cost and they were able to realize that it wasn't worth what they did to Joseph. In the earlier part of the chapter, 
you you find Judah explaining to Joseph what really happened, supposedly what happened, and how you know the other brother that was there was actually twelve of them, and you know one brother uh, they believe was killed, and blah 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 blah. But this is Judah talking to Joseph. Judah knew that there was at least a possibility that Joseph was alive because Judah knew what actually happened to Joseph. But it's like as Matthew Henry says, sometimes you can tell a lie so long. Because remember, they told Jacob this lie, Joseph's father, their father, that Joseph had been eaten by wild animals because he brought the coat of many colors back with blood stain. It's like they had told that lie for so long that they even be had began to believe that Joseph was really dead. But Judah knew there was a possibility that Joseph was still alive because they know what they had really done to Joseph. But that even convinced themselves that what they had done and that of what they had done, either it was right or whatever it may have been, they had convinced themselves that Joseph was dead, even though they knew it was a possibility he was not dead. And it's like, sometimes you can live a lie so long that you even convince yourself that you're telling the truth. But you know what? God is looking for us to repent so that we can move forward and do what he's really called us to do. So I wrote down a few things. I said, they finally counted the cost. You have Judah stepping up to the plate. Share the video, Warrior Nation. You have Judah stepping up to the plate and saying, you know what? Let me be the slave. That's right. They said lies will never prosper. It, we, no, we have to be free from lying. Like for real, we got to tell the truth. The truth makes us free. It gives us liberty. And it's like, you see a mature Judah who steps up in front of his brothers and says, let all of them go back. Let the boy go back. I'll be the slave. I'll be the sacrifice. And I wrote that finally they had counted the cost and much had changed from throwing Joseph in the cistern and then sitting down to break bread to where they are right now. Because remember, when they did this to Joseph, right after they did this to Joseph, they sat down and ate and laughed and talked like everything was okay. But now you find some humble people who are fully submitted to the Lord and they confess. And they're like, look, just save our brother. We can't do this to our father again. And it's like I said, the consequences before, they didn't count it, y'all. The consequences and the pain of having to live with a lie for more than 20 years. I said they nearly starved to death while they were living this lie because they didn't count the cost. Not only did they almost starve to death, every day they broke their father's heart. Every day they continued to live that lie, they broke their father Jacob's heart because they knew in their hearts that there was a possibility that Joseph was still alive. And they knew for sure that he was not killed by wild animals. They know they sold Joseph into slavery. And so it's like when we do things and we don't count the cost, it ends up hurting other people, not just ourselves. But I have to say in this story, in this moment, in this passage, it looks like they really did learn their lesson. There are plenty of lessons I have learned. What about you? Like some people, the old people say, boss is better than borrow sense. You ever heard that, Brittany? Mm -hmm. Bought sense is better than borrowed sense. And it's like they had to buy this sense. They had to go through some things, some things they didn't have to go through because they lived a lie for so long and they didn't count the cost when they did this to Joseph. But I have to admire them because like they were able to take the test again with Benjamin. But this time, as we've been talking about every single day, they passed their test. Will we pass our test today? Will we learn from our past mistakes? Will we move forward, taking the low world, taking the, a place of humble submission, and allowing God to exalt us in due season. Is there anything that you need to learn from today? You know, I was talking this morning about, y'all remember if y'all have been with me for a while, how I was just praying for my miracle house and, and just thinking I was going to have it by Christmas. I was just so set on moving into my dream house. And, you know, there was a house that I already wanted and it was already, somebody was already living in it and all of that. But now, you know, my mind has changed and it's like the Lord is showing me that we really can own things. Uh, remember, we're going to exercise kingdom ownership. Uh, that is a huge reason why we're doing the raffle for the miracle car. Where are the keys, Brittany? Um, that's one of the main reasons why we're doing, here they are, the raffle for the miracle car. Because this is going to allow some faithful warrior to exercise kingdom ownership. And there was a time in my life, and even my sister and I, we talked about it, when I never desired to pay anything off. I didn't think it was necessary. Like growing up, we had a lot of nice things, but we didn't own anything. We didn't own our house. We had a lot of vehicles. We didn't own any of our vehicles. And so we grew up in that atmosphere or that environment that you can just keep borrowing and keep, you know, keep borrowing and borrowing and borrowing. But what it does, it gets you deeper and deeper in debt. And so when I was believing God for my miracle house and all that and couldn't understand why it didn't happen, there was a lesson that I learned in that. First of all, to be patient. But most importantly, I'm learning that it's better to own my home, even if it's not a million dollar home. And I don't own it yet, but I will. Because now, more than moving into a million dollar home, more than even moving into my dream home, 
there's a peace that comes with owning things. And the day I'm able to pay this off, because I have a plan now that I'm putting into place where I can pay my house off. And if it happens supernaturally, that's wonderful. But if it doesn't, it's still wonderful because the whole thing is supernatural, what God is doing. But I'm learning that it's not how much credit or things I can acquire with credit. I'm learning that it's better to be able to own something that nobody can ever take from me. And so the Lord placed it on my heart and I've been sharing it with y'all that the miracle I was after was already in front of my face. I was already sitting in it because my house is already a miracle. We got it supernaturally. We lived in it a month before we even were able to close on it. And not only that, all I have to do is fix it up, which is what I'm doing. I'm going to be faithful over what I have right now. <clears throat> and I'm going to wait for God to exalt me because I'm taking the low, the low place. I'm taking the humble place. And I'm going to learn to be a faithful steward over this house, over the things that I already have. That is why we're not going to finance a building for the ministry. We're going to buy a building because we're going to exercise kingdom ownership. And I believe that as we're faithful over that building and over the tenants that are in that building, as we're faithful over it and we uh, exude godliness, I believe in due season, uh, we'll be able to build a ministry building up from the ground. But I feel like I need to be faithful over what God's already entrusted me with before he'll increase me with more. The same thing with y'all. I thought I needed Oprah to call me. I thought I needed T.D. Jakes to call me. I thought I needed Joel Osteen to call me. Cheryl Brady. I thought I needed her to call me for me to get to this place, for me to feel like I arrived. And what I've learned now is that I'm already here because the Lord has blessed me with y'all. And I just can't think of anything more amazing than to share my life with y'all. And so it's like what I was after, the miracle <clears throat> that I was after was already within my reach. It was already right in front of me. And while I had the enemy allow me to think I was behind, I was actually ahead of schedule. It's like we arrived right on time. And it's like, so my whole point is that I'm learning. I'm learning a lot. And I'm learning that it's not, you know, always the big things. Sometimes it can be the small things because the day I can pay this house off in full, that's going to be a glorious day because I've never even had the idea that I could own my own home. Do you know, I never even realized until these last few months, but let me say this. I take that back because I feel like me staying in this house and paying it off, paying off this house, which is maybe $150,000 to pay this house off. Um, just in case my wants to bless me supernaturally, it's $150,000. But listen, I did a vision board three years ago and I put a picture of my house on the board and I wrote on there paid in full. And I feel like me now saying, you know what, Kelly, you're going to save and you're going to come up with a plan. You're going to execute that plan and you're going to pay your house off the, the one you're in before you move to another place. And I just feel like that's the Lord's hand because I had it on my vision board. And I'm telling you slowly, everything on my vision boards are coming to pass. But they said, where are you, Oprah? It's all right. We'll meet. We'll do some work together if it's in God's will. But I'm just thankful for the lessons that I've learned. And I'm thankful in this scripture, in this passage, that I can see Judah and the other brothers who have learned a lesson. And they're like, I'll stay. I'll be the slave. It's like, I'll pay the price for what I did. If you'll just let my brothers, because Judah didn't say, leave all of us except Benjamin. He said, leave me and let all my brothers go home to my father. You know what I'm saying? It's like, just let me stay and be the sacrifice because I've learned my lesson and I'm willing to pay the price for what I did. I'll be the slave, Joseph. I'll humble myself before you as my Lord and I'll do what I need to do if you just let my brothers go free. They learned their lesson. They learned their lesson. I'm learning my lessons and we need to count the cost. Will you count the cost? So now as I tie this all in, everything that I'm doing now, every decision that I'm making is like, I'm like, Lord, What's the best decision? Should I do this first or should I do that first? Look how long it's taking us to find a building. And I told you that we were having an issue with one of the people in the building. And so I told them, if that person is not gone, we're not going to get this building. And they called us back yesterday and said they gave them their notice. They will be gone by the time we close on this building. It's like something I'm not even going to entertain myself with. I'm not going to dance with the devil. And I'm not calling the person the devil. But I already know that the enemy is not want us in that building. And I'm not going to go into a building. I already knowing that there's going to be a problem. And so it's like I'm counting the cost. Lord, I would rather stay here and be faithful in this bedroom until you give me the place that's going to give me peace where I can do your work. 
as opposed to running out there and making hasty decisions and then regretting it? Will we count the cost this morning? Will we learn from our past mistakes? I love you all so much, and I thank you for listening this morning. I pray this touches your heart. I want you to go back and read all of Genesis 44, um, but I just wanted to pull out that part. And another thing, you know, for 20 years, they have been living through the lenses and seeing life through the lens of guilt. And for 20 years, Jacob had been living life through heartache and despair. And it's like God has a way of making all things beautiful. He really will give us beauty for our ashes, double for our trouble, and joy forevermore. That's his word, Isaiah 61, that our joy will be forevermore. So, y'all, let's learn from what we messed up on. Let's move forward. And as we move forward, let's take a moment and count the cost. We're going to go into prayer now. You guys have no idea how much I love you. But let me just say this morning, Te amo tanto. I love you very much. I want to thank you for how you all are supporting this ministry, how you are partnering with this ministry, how even though you all are getting the donation raffle tickets for the new car, you all are also, you have not slacked up on helping us on the other side through our ministry for our regular operational support. I want to say thank you because you are being led by the Spirit of God and you're being overly generous. And if that's such a thing, you're being generous. And I just want to say thank you this morning. The Lord placed it in my heart yesterday to continue to pray that the Lord will send generous people to this page who will see how massive this vision is and who will accept their responsibility to help in this. Because it's not a, this is not a Kelly Lane thing. This is a Warrior Nation thing. It's a global movement that we are doing. And I want to say thank you. I believe that Brittany will soon have the link pinned uh, for the ways that you can give on Facebook and for Instagram Warriors. Everything you, you need is at kellylane.org, including your way to enter for the Miracle Car because we are giving away a 2018 brand new Chevrolet Malibu. And even though we are doing this fundraiser, um, thank you for saying you love me. Even though we're doing this fundraiser so that we can buy our building, more, even more than that, I'm doing this because I want to show that you can own something. And like the winner of this, the person handpicked by God for this brand new car, I don't know that person, I don't know that situation. But just the idea that when we place these keys in his or her hands, it's like, this is something that you own. And I would advise don't sell it, don't trade it. Exercise kingdom ownership. Take care of mucho tambien. You love me very much too. Thank you. It's like, own this. And say, you know what? I own something. And maybe you'll be like me. I don't know who it's going to go to. But I've never owned anything. This is like a first time for me. And it's like, when we, when we sold that seed into that school in Kenya, in December, we did it to make them debt free. But do you know that seed has made is making us debt free? Like I didn't think it would turn around that fast when we did that for that school and when we paid that school off. And the Lord placed it on my heart to just relieve that ministry of the burden of overhead costs. And we wrote that check to that ministry, not through the ministry, but through Warrior Apparel. It was it was a personal thing, and I did that. And, and the team joined in with me. And I said I want them to be debt free. I didn't know that that was opening the door for me to be debt free, for this ministry to be debt free, for this business to be debt free. And so I want to say to you today, and this was not rehearsed, but as you give to this ministry, as you give to it, say, you know what? I am helping them, which is us. I am helping this ministry become debt free. But even though it looks like I'm helping Kelly and her dream with the Warrior Nation and allowing them to be debt free, because that's what we were trying to do with the school in Kenya. What it did was it opened the door for us to be able to see that we too could be debt free. So as you're giving today, know that it's like your, your seed is also for you to be debt free. You see what I'm saying? I didn't see it when I was doing it, but I see it now that you're not just giving $72 to a building. You're giving a $72 seed. For you to own your house, for you to own your cars, for you to have a ministry that's paid off. It's a seed. And it's like, whether you give 72, whatever you give, whatever amount, we're asking for 72. But we gave that school $40,000. So, you know, whatever God tells you to give. But it was so worth it to give $40,000 to so where we're going to be able to walk into a building in 30 days. And, we, and by faith, we're going to be able to pay off that building in full. There won't be a loan from the bank. I believe it by faith. We sold the seed. Will you do it today? Let's go into prayer. Brittany has the ways pain that you can give. Speak it over your life. I'm debt free. But let me tell you, as you speak it, you got to put an action with it. And I'm not just saying it to be saying it, but put your money where your mouth is. If you're going to be debt free, 
So into a ministry that you know is good ground and that you know that we're doing the thing that you want to do in your own life because it's exactly what we did for the school in Kenya. And the Lord has already turned that thing around. So let's go into prayer today. Thank you for being so generous. Thank you for being so generous. Father, we thank you this morning for this word. Lord, that we will count the cost and we will learn from our past mistakes, Father. That we're not who we used to be. We're getting stronger and better and wiser every day because, Lord, we ask you for your wisdom. We ask you for your favor. Lord, help us with our decision makers. Let us be led by your spirit. Father, I thank you for the warrior nation. Lord, what I was after was already in front of my face. The miracles are already here. Even the building that we were after, all this time I've been passing by the building almost every day. Father, I thank you for even now you're showing us the answers to our prayers because many of these answers are already in our midst. The miracles are already in our midst. Help us to see them and recognize them this morning, Father God. Lord, as you touch the hearts of the warriors today to support this ministry, Lord, they see our efforts. Every single morning we wake up at 3.30 and we prepare ourselves to deliver a word from heaven, Father, led and taught by your spirit. Lord, it's not easy, but we understand that to whom much is given, much is required. And Lord, you already know, if I never receive the dime, I will continue to do this for free because it's in my heart to help your people. And God, I thank you because they see my heart and they see the hearts of my team. God, they're helping us and they're being so generous. Lord, please bless every gift giver every tither, everyone who will get a raffle ticket, Lord. I thank you that you already have the winners handpicked, Lord. You know our situations, Father. We just thank you that with this raffle and with this miracle card, Father God, whoever the recipient is of these gifts, Lord, they will exercise kingdom ownership. And Lord, I just believe that you spoke over 2018. This will be the year that we'll walk in wealthy places. God, in order for us to do that, a tr uh, something has to first change, a transformation has to take place in our minds. God, just change our minds today. Let us see that we really can own things Lord, that we don't have to have debt above our heads, Lord, that we really can own things, God. If we, and if we are in debt, help us to execute plans, Father God, so we can be debt free. Father, we thank you for it right now. God, I ask you to go for the warrior nation now, make every rugged path smooth, every crooked place straight, and bring every high place low. Father, I thank you that no weapon formed against your people shall prosper, and every tongue that is risen up against them shall be condemned. Father, I thank you that we are the head and not the tail, that we are above and not beneath, that we are lenders and not borrowers. Father, I thank you that when the enemy comes to us, one way. He will have to scatter, oh God, seven different ways. And we thank you that even now you are arising. You allowed our enemies to be scattered. Father, I thank you that we will be lenders to many nations, that we shall be borrowers from none. Lord, we speak it <clears throat> over our lives today, God. We declare this word and we believe it by faith. And Lord, you said according to Mark 11 and 24, our foundational scripture, that whatsoever we ask, Lord, we believe it, we shall receive it. So God, we believe that we are debt free. Not just us, not just the team, not just the ministry building, but the warrior nation. God, you can do it. And we thank you that you're doing it even now, that you're moving supernaturally, God, that you're changing and rearranging, Father. We honor you for today. Lord, we thank you for the enlargement that's taking place, the expansion that's taking place, even in our own minds, Father. Enlarge the territories of the warrior nation. Lord, enlarge their territories. Lord, keep them safe from all hurt, harm, and danger. Place your hands upon them, Lord, and give them all the strength and provision that they need to go forth in your name and do what you call them to do. Father, I thank you right now. You're so good. You're so perfect. You're so holy, Father. As we step into this dark and perilous world today, we wear your full armor, the better truth around our waist, the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness. We wear sandals of peace. We carry the shield of faith and the soul of your spirit, which is your word, God. Let your word be hidden in our hearts. That we will not sin against you. Father, anyone in need of a healing today, Warrior Nation, type it in. Whatever you need, healing, restoration, reconciliation. Maybe you believe in God for your ministry to be debt free or your building to be debt free. Whatever you believe in God to do, your finances for just a breakthrough in your finances type those things in father see our petitions today hear us today oh god and we thank you lord that you are the god of miracles therefore we will receive miracles on the regular on the daily basis god because this is how we see life we see you as the god of miracles we see you as jehovah rapha our healer we see you as jehovah Jireh, our provider we see you god as el shaddai all sufficient in all things we see you as our refuge we see you as our strong tower we see you as our way maker Lord, we honor you for who you are today. Lord, please bless the warrior nation. Let them be victorious on every side. Give them favor in the courtroom. Give them favor in their coming and their going. And Lord, once again, give us wisdom from heaven. Lord, we thank you for what you're doing, what you've already done, and what you're about to do. We honor you, oh God. It is in Jesus' name that we do pray. Amen. Okay, warrior nation. That's right. Speak it. It's I'm going to be debt-free and pain-free. That's right. It's a heal my mind, favor on the job, 
Father, show me who I can bless and get out of debt. Yes. Praise God. Cancellation of your court case. I'm with you, Denise. We're with you. So I love you all very much. Um, thank you for giving us the four ways you can give on Facebook. You know, you can give through the donate button. That's the easiest way on Facebook. Uh, you can also go to PayPal. Anybody can go to PayPal and type in the email, give at kellylane.org. We're asking for every warrior to please give at least $72 to our building fund. Um, also, you can send it through the mail. We've got tons of letters here that we're reading every single day. Thank you for that. Uh, Instagram, the easiest way for any of you, for Instagram especially, just go to kellylane.org. Uh, the ticket will pop up where you can donate to get your raffle you have to go through the site on raffle network for the car entry but also don't forget y'all to continue to give to the ministry we thank you very much this is our year let the lord speak to you today he'll tell you what to give and all of that just be led and don't be afraid of the answer because i used to be scared to say okay lord what do you want me to give because i was afraid of what he would say but i can truly say that i've given my way out of poverty and i'm not going to be afraid of going back into poverty because the lord said in his word that the generous will prosper and that he always gives seed to the sore. So y'all, thank you for being a help today. Make sure you get your donation tickets. Uh, they're $25 on the raffle network. Um, if you go to my website, you can see it. We'll also pin the link later, but um, that's not pin, is it, Brittany? Uh, the ticket, it's okay. Y'all can find it. If you go to my website, it pops up also, and we'll post a link when we get out the video. But make sure you get your tickets for the miracle car also. Hey, give one for somebody else. Be a blessing. I love y'all, and I'll check with you later, okay? Don't forget the socks. All of them. All right. Praise God. Did you put that on? What? I didn't realize you put that on. Oh, my on. God. Oh, my God. The ring. Listen, I hope you're still on here. Somebody sent me this ring about a year or two ago. It is a ring that has a mustard seed in it. And if you didn't jump off and you're still on here, I need to talk to you because I really like this ring. Somebody sent this to me. And I need you to send me another one so that I know that it's you. But if you're on here and you send me this ring, I need to talk to you. It's been in my spirit for three days about the mustard seed. And I feel like it was to do something with this person. So if you made me this ring, you know who you are. Reveal yourself. <laughs> Email us and do what? And send me another one because I feel like this is something I would like to offer on my site. All right. You know who you are. Okay. Hope you were watching. Bye-bye. Thank you for reminding me. Okay. Bye-bye. You remember, Crystal? I can't I can't think of who sent it. We're going to go try to figure it out. But if you're on here, if you're on here, get in touch with me. Bye-bye. <laughs>